Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today is a special edition, a special edition for the Ramadan because a lot of my girls will be fasting tomorrow. So Ramadan Karim for you. <laughs> and I thought I'm going to make this video because uh, you ask like how uh, is the endo diet and how is the implementation uh, and the fasting. So I did already one video and this one is a special Ramadan edition. So I put some things together. The most important thing you have to know that this month you have to focus on nutrients, okay? You don't just eat any food you see. So when you're breaking the fast and everyone is just eating this uh, fries or whatever, you have to be very vigilant and you have to be very strategic of what you're eating. Eat what your body will need the most, okay? Because with fasting, you can go two ways. You can have amazing benefits or you can literally uh, destroy your hormones. So it's one way or another. That's why it's very important that we find this balance. So let's start from the things which we should end up be doing while fasting. So the first thing is don't fast on the period and while you are pregnant. These are exceptions for a reason. I actually did very heavy research and the woman should not fast when they are pregnant, but apparently 90% of women are fasting anyway. It's your personal choice. I'm gonna include under this video actually research which was conducted to the women who are fasting and their uh, babies. So go and have a look, but I want you to know that it's actually exception for a reason. So if you feel like, you know, you, you are sick all the time and you feel like uh, it's not for you, but your family, uh, it's going to look at you strange, please just put your own health first and the health of your baby because it's absolutely permissible for you not to fast when you're pregnant, okay? Don't do intensive workouts. We have to be very mindful uh, when it comes to our energy. Where are we giving this energy? So uh, don't give this energy away because you're going to need this during the day, okay? And the more uh, intensive workouts you conduct, the more uh, hungry you get and the more nutrients you actually need. So, for example, I won't be doing uh, any hardcore exercises. I won't be running. I won't be heavy lifting. I will do just yoga and some um, bum exercises, but no cardio no like no very heavy uh, exercises at all and don't fast if you have an eating disorder this one is actually big you know i actually slide through anorexia i was not uh, diagnosed with anorexia but i was very close and i remember ramadan was always for me the month when i had the excuse for not eating so don't be like me Seriously, if you know that you've got an eating uh, problem, eating disorder, then please seek help and don't uh, don't use it as an excuse to starve yourself even further. Because some families don't, don't, don't even know that their daughter has got anorexia because we can hide very, very well, okay? And this one is very important. Try not to fast longer than 12, 13 hours because longer fasting can trigger negative hormone cascade. It's actually proven that if we women fast longer than 13 hours, that can actually affect our hormones. And as I said in the video before, uh, it can actually mess up with our estrogen level and we and the girls have too high estrogen anyway. So we have to be very, very careful when it comes to fasting. Do these things instead. After breaking the fast, don't eat everything you can see. Like I just mentioned, be very strategic and choose the highest nutrients first. Okay. Uh, every everyone else can eat like for example chips but you're eating the nutrients f uh, food first eat very slowly chew because the more you chew the more your mouth is uh, producing uh, digestive enzymes so it's easier for your body to digest things and when you eat slowly uh, instead of eating like like everything in one go uh, you are not swallowing the air and that means uh, you you can uh, avoid the bloating. 
keep yourself hydrated because this is big when it comes to fasting. Uh, dehydration is very big and we don't want to be dehydrated and it's very hard to avoid the dehydration actually. So uh, in th keep uh, drinking a lot of water, make sure that uh, when you break fast, you also uh, keep the water bottle next to you and just drink it and eat a lot of fruits because the fruits of course uh, contain a lot of water and don't drink tea or coffee because uh, these two things are actually keep you dehydrated so it means you're gonna go to the toilet and we want to keep ourselves hydrated not all the way around okay and please remember about these fruits because they uh, they are full of high natural fructose that give you more energy and we get energy from the two sources. We've got energy from the sugar and we've got energy from carbohydrates. And we are burning energy from sugar very quickly, but from the carbs, we are burning this energy slower. That's why those people who are running the marathons, they are uh, eating a lot of carbs like pasta for example okay and try to stabilize the blood sugar by choosing natural not artificial sugars so that means instead of baklava instead of some cakes try to have natural sugars such as dates for example have as many as you want if you are diabetes please please uh, talk to your doctor before any attempt of fasting okay eat some carbs do you remember when i told you that uh, we are burning the energy from two sources from the sugar and from carbohydrates and um Carbs will keep you full for longer, which is very important because we want to wake up the next day and have more energy, don't we? Energy from carbohydrates is really slower than from sugar, so we want to eat some more nice carbs. For example, a uh, uh, sweet potatoes they are nice carbs and the things which many girls are forgetting about and um, unless there is the hummus topped with some olive oil but we really forgetting about it and we shouldn't don't forget about good oils include the olive oil avocado almond butter for example okay please don't forget about them because they are not part of like usual dishes which you might see don't eat heavily at night i know it might sound very obvious but for uh, many girls it's not that obvious <laughs> so when you make the fast in the first iftar just try to eat a little bit more and then when you wake up at night try to eat a little bit less because the more food you actually eat the uh, more your body is going to need energy to digest it the more sluggish you feel you know and it's just not nice. And that's also affect your sleep. We want you to wake up next day full of energy and not like mm, sluggish, okay? And remember, don't overdose with fiber. For those girls who are sticking to the endo diet and who are increasing the intakes of the vegetables and having a green smoothie, please be mindful. Okay, don't drink the smoothie and salad. Don't eat salad at the same time when you break the fast. Try to uh, stretch it in time a little bit. Like for example, when you break the fast and first iftar have a green smoothie and then later at night have a small salad don't have it in one go because it's still fiber so your body is still going to need a lot of time to digest it and if you don't if you don't give your body this time and if you put fiber on fiber <laughs> you're going to end up bloated and we really don't want that okay so just keep this in mind and stay safe and before fasting please consult your doctor because there's a lot of illnesses like for example diabetes like for example Crohn's disease and for example um so many many diseases and uh, fasting actually affect this and you have to talk with your doctor when it comes to um, tablets because obviously the time slots are going to change so before conducting any any longer fasting please consult your doctor i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video please click the like button subscribe and share it with others i wish you all the best have blessed ramadan and Ramadan Karim. Bye.